Good morning, everyone. It's Kevin at Bear Creek. Uh, this goes into the category, don't try this at home. Uh, it's about 10 after 6 in the morning here in central Wisconsin. It's about 37 degrees outside. Um, I'm going to do a, 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 a package install today, a little different way than I've done it before. Uh, but the reason I'm doing it now is because I really have no choice. I, I have to get to work here in another uh, half hour. I have to leave for work and I don't usually get home till dark and, uh, and I have to head out and work this weekend. So I really have no time to get these bees installed. But I swung by last night about 8.30 and picked up uh, my bees, uh, two packages and two extra queens. And the reason that I got the two extra queens was because I wanted to duplicate a sort of a, an experiment that they did over in Europe Germany, um, I saw in the National Honey Show uh, that stated that um, one and a half to two pound packages outperformed three pound packages. Uh, one pound packages uh, did not outperform the one and a half pound or the three pound packages at all. They kind of stagnated and there's apparently like a tipping point as to um, how robust the bees get when their numbers are smaller or larger depending on on situations but um, um, essentially uh, a smaller package to a point will the bees will multitask and um, complete up to four different tasks where in a larger colony a larger uh, package install the bees will relegate themselves to one specific task whether it be you know, nursing or or foraging or uh, guarding or uh, water pickup or whatever um, in a smaller colony, yet not too small, uh, they will, like I said, get up to four uh, different tasks um, and they are just more robust. So I want to see if uh, a pound and a half package will um, explode um, into June and become very robust colonies. So what I've got is two three pound packages and two extra queens and I've got these uh, uh, four by four, um, four over four nuke boxes here, um, double four over four nuke boxes that I'm going to split a package over the top of and then add an extra queen um, to one side and I've got two of them so I'm going to make four colonies here today. Uh, I got to get this done really quick so bear with me. Um, again I've, I've done things a little bit differently. My bottom box here I have no frames in. That's where I'm going to deposit the bees. I put four frames in each of these, these uh, top boxes and uh, this box here just covers the uh, uh, feeding jars as it were. Uh, I've got some pollen patties set up and uh, um, again I it's 37 degrees so I'm not spraying these down with water because uh, it's just too cold to do that. Um, hopefully they won't fly around too much because it is a little cold out and a little damp. This, you can see my breath uh, this morning so um, hope to keep the stings to a minimum really and truly uh, but um, you know away we go. Uh, in this uh, hive, I got, just got, you know, three empty frames here. I do have a some honey on this frame. Plus, it's only partially drawn out, so the bees can work on drawing that out on each side. Uh, this one's actually full of honey. It's got a pretty good one. And uh, and then I also gave them a, uh, well, this one's the partially drawn out one. This is the one I want in there. So there we go. Um, Down here, this is empty. And these are where this is where I'm going to divide the packages. Uh, 
Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is install the queen up top on one, one side. Well, actually on both sides, actually. But I'm gonna grab one of my queen cages here. I'll put mite strips on these in a, in a few days after the queen's been released and whatnot, so. Okay. Okay. I made up this candy last night and I put it in the other two queen cages, but the ones that it came with, it didn't have any. So I have got to tear off a little bit and stuff it in the queen cage here. Okay, they'll be able to chew through that in a couple of days. I just made it out of candy and uh, icing sugar. Okay, and this one. There we go. Good. Okay. Okay, now the bees should migrate up from the bottom box into the comb and cover the queens 
and they'll be okay. That first one was a trial run, just to see how things work. Need to kind of perfect my uh, process here. Forgot a couple things. And you see how I got the, the foil with the holes in it. This will keep the queen separate with this padded right here. Okay. Now here's my here's my Carniolan Minnesota Hygienic Queen in there. The extra one that I got. Okay. That one has uh, the sugar already oh. in it. Yep, didn't like that. One bit. I don't really like these. Okay, that's good, got that, okie dokie.
Well, that didn't go so bad. Uh, not sure how long that took me, probably half an hour. Uh, I'm not late for work. Uh, Brad, if you're counting, uh, you had the over under on stings at three. I got exactly three based on my throbbing fingers. I got uh, one here at the end of this finger, one here, and I think I got a small one on the, a thumb. I felt them, but uh, not too awful terrible uh, today. Uh, not bad for 37 degrees. Didn't spray them down. The bees are staying put in the bottom. I don't have them closed off, so they'll be able to come out, do their thing. They're fed. They got pollen patties. They'll be able to release their queen. I'll let them set in here for a few days, uh, and then I'll come back, take out the queen cages, and uh, and then I'll put in some uh, some uh, mitoway quick strips. And I got to do that to all my hives, put in my way quick strips. Uh, but I'll do that, all that at the same time. But uh, we're getting to that time when um, it's critical to get that in there uh, and then get them out before I have to put the honey supers on in June. So uh, that, as they say, is that. So uh, we'll have to see how these progress over the summer. Stay tuned uh, um, to me, these are going to be my resource hives, but not until they've built up enough resources. I'll also, um, in a few days, uh, put four, four more frames down the bottom, uh, just so they don't start building uh, burr comb on the bottom of these frames up top here, because it's just too much space for them. But uh, just for now, I just gave them the space just to kind of sit down there. They will migrate up to the queens uh, and the comb. and. Uh, and shouldn't be too much too much of an issue. So uh, they'll be able to come out, take flight today, get oriented, do what they got to do slowly but surely. Like I said, 37 degrees. They'll sit in there for a bit um, until it warms up uh, this morning. And that's that. So stay tuned. Until next time, happy beekeeping. And remember, all beekeeping is local. Take care. <sighs>